Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for episode three of season three of DC's Titans. On the last episode, uh, we saw the reveal of Red Hood hitting the scene, as well as the real of the reveal of his identity, all in the same episode, which I thought was kind of rushed. Also, just the general concept of Red Hood appearing in the way that he has is also a little rushed, considering, according to the show's own timeline, it hasn't even been a week since Jason Todd died, and now he is back as this vigilante crime lord uh military dude it's like where did all these skills come from where did you acquire all this time what who brought you back how long have you been back how'd you get your sanity back what what what's going on did you even die in the first place i don't know i've got a lot of questions as far as the motivations behind jason todd right now because like obviously he unlike in the comics he's directing his vengeance it seems like towards dick like out of jealousy instead of out of revenge and pain and t towards batman who was the one that allowed him to die failed to save him because he refused to ever permanently end the joker that was kind of the whole like thing but like here like i just don't understand like i i get it it's jealousy that he's like uh bruce always favored dick or whatever all this stuff you know he was fond of dick and he uh he didn't like that so like i don't like what wh why is he uh, taking on the titans because of that because they turned his back on him like earlier because he felt betrayed about that it just feels a little weird and a little rushed and a little odd uh but we'll see i i like some of the combat in it my favorite thing about the last episode was the detective work like the team actually working together talking things out like we see the titans be a family now and so far that's been my draw to what is happening at the moment my anchor into the storyline so far as i'm letting everything come up like piece themselves together like because like i've said in the last video i feel like the peripheral everything around the titans is a little chaotic at the moment and i'm waiting to see if any of it kind of comes back together into some kind of order as we learn more about what's going on, Jason's motivations, some of the things he's been working on. Like we still haven't like followed up on the whole chemical thing that he was studying and creating beforehand before he died with the Joker. So I've got a lot of questions. Batman is just up in the ether. He's ran away from Gotham altogether and just left it to Dick and the Titans. Um, And yeah, it's a lot to just kind of go through in the, like, the span of just those first two episodes, which makes me wonder what the pacing is going to be for the rest of the season. However, at least right now, I like where the Titans are as a team, and I think that's what's carrying me through, because that's what, that's what, for me, most of all, I felt like was really lacking in the previous two seasons was them actively being a unit. Um, so I'm glad we're at least at that point. So... So far, I do feel like it's an improvement over the last two seasons. Uh, just from what I've seen so far, that could easily change. I'm trying to say optimistic as much as I can be. Um, and I'm sorry, uh, it is storming outside right now, but I, I need to get this recorded. So I'm sorry if you hear some thunder and lightning. Well, you wouldn't hear lightning. You can't hear lightning. You would hear the thunder. Um, so I do apologize for that if that comes up. But uh, we're going to be diving into episode three. All the episodes will finally be through all the episodes they've released so far, and we'll see how it kind of feels out. So that all out of the way. Remember, the full-length unedited reaction watch-alongs will be over on Patreon, or if you become a member here on the channel, you can get access to it as well. If you want to see my reaction to the entire episode, not just what I save for the uh, highlight reel on YouTube, it'll definitely support the channel. I hope you do. And uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into the episode. Okay, okay, we're seeing we're seeing what what happened here, I guess. Oh, no we no we're not. We're we're seeing Dick confirm what he just witnessed, I guess. So that comes back to my question from last episode. Did Bruce knowingly bury an, an empty coffin or who came and dug up his body or did he even die? So many questions. Somebody do some kind of voodoo act and raise him from the dead. There's no Jesus. Bruce doesn't know anything about this. He never would have killed the Joker if Jason was alive. Then where's Al Ghul? Unlikely. He's in Kadim. If someone's bringing people back to life, maybe they can bring Donna back. Hmm. 
Well, it's a little early for Easter, but someone was <laughs> last night. Or he faked his death well enough to fool even Bruce. Either way, he sure should. Yeah, if we're counting out Ra's al Ghul, which we can't necessarily do, but how did he come back from the dead then? I could be using. When I got to Gotham, I found a place where he was cooking. Tested a few samples in the back computer. Maybe he's like snorting Lazarus juice. We figure out the how and why later. Jason's out there and we need to stop him. You, know, you guys do what you want, but if it ends up him versus me, kid's going down. Dick's just trying to do what Bruce wants. Why? Because Jason's his brother. Yes. Well, he's not mine. Give me 10 seconds alone with that kid. Jesus. I'll make him wish he stayed dead. What about you? What about me? Are you up to it? You know the answer to that. Yeah. I know I fucked up. Please, you gotta help me what out. What the fuck? Jason? Fuck, this was a mistake. I gotta go, eh? No, no, no. Jason, Jason, wait. I can help you. Tell me where you are. And you'll tell Dick. No, I won't. It's just you and me. <laughs> Send message to Bruce Wayne. No contact found. <laughs> Bullshit. Language, Mr. Logan. Do you prefer French? Audio message. But if Jason's alive, killing innocent people, we have to stop him. It's what Titans do. Yeah, but normally when we do it, we're not hunting down one of our own. Man, the, so far, those two are like the core heart of everything that's going on for me right now, man. So, where are we going? Go to the old Gotham Observatory. Gotham Observatory. Tourist. He's putting on a good phone act. To lure somebody away. Okay, I'm here. The one bullheaded enough to like do this. Destroy it and then what? There better be a chalupa at the end of this. Gotham City Gym. You sure? Board of Health closed it down last month. Just go! God, he's fucking baiting them one at a time. <sighs> Why? I mean, I, I mean, uh, hmm. I'm here. Where are you? Take off your shirt and pants to prove you're not wired. Hmm. Come on, really? What next? Full money? You said it. Remember, hmm. I work for tips. Start talking about a glove, it's going to cost extra. Now swim to the other end. In this shit. All right, no more games. I'm here. Good to see you, Hank. What happened? Just give it oh, my oh my God. Is that a bomb? Connor, take a look inside and tell us what we're dealing with. Yeah. Looks like it's embedded in the pectoralis major, right through to the aortic arch. No part of that sounded good. Engineering is incredibly nuanced. Bombs designed to tolerate insertion, not retraction. If those sensors detect too much force, it'll explode. What if we remove it surgically? It's the same outcome. Once activated, it's designed to kill. <sighs> that fucking little shit. This whole thing is engineered to read EKG signals. The countdown isn't seconds. It's, it's the number of heartbeats he has left. What do you mean countdown? gets down to zero. Jason can't actually want Hank to die, right? I have a feeling we're about to find out. This is fucked, dude. 50 million dollars in gold bars are being delivered at one o'clock to Gotham Central. Bring me the gold and I'll deactivate the device. Never gonna happen. Do it your way, Dick. That always turns out well. We play our game, not his. Our game is to save Hank, not Jason. It's not one or the other. Let's just keep our priorities straight. It's almost like Dick now is in your normal comic book show while everybody else is still in Titan season one and two mode. What's this? It's a carotid massage. Someone's gotta keep your heart rate down. You just want an excuse to get into bed with me. Stop planning your next orgy and relax. Who says an orgy's not relaxing? Don't encourage him. That's my boy. Going back to Crane. 
He's a follower, drawn to brighter lights. Maybe he's looking for a father figure. Sure. To fill the void. Or to replace a daddy he's rebelling against. Ooh. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's very good. It's the old uh, mentor slash patricide combo. Got some criminal father figure or someone who likes a grand gesture. Huh. Yeah. Is it Crane? <laughs> yeah. Chemistry. If this search for daddy, it's going to affect everything. I don't fear oh, anything anymore. Meaning? Meaning that he's in a battle with his father. Fear Crane. So he's going to use the weapons of his father. Why well, knows a little bit more about what he's the doing. Abused becomes the abuser. Hey, Grayson, where are you going? You just got here, buddy old pal. I don't know. Could be barking up the wrong tree there, but I don't, we'll see. I got a hit. Surgical EKG detonation implant, Wayne Tech. Why? And everything. <laughs> Specs are there. Reading them now. I need you to build a deactivator using these blueprints. You want me to build something this complex in less than three <laughs> hours? Yeah. You got this. <laughs> no pressure, man. No pressure. After what you guys pulled last night, I'm not exactly in a giving mood. Hank's attached to a bomb. I'm not asking. I will nuke this place if you do not comply. <laughs> See if you can sniff out some bourbon while you're at it. <laughs> If Alfred greets me at the pearly gates, so I'm gonna tell him he's got some competition. You're not meeting Alfred. Why, you think he's in hell? Stop. You think I'm going to hell? I'm not going anywhere. You're not leaving me in this shithole world. Somebody's country. dying this episode. No, 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 no! Heart rate! Heart rate! Stop it! Stop it! Bad! Shoo! Get! Skedaddle! This is how you kill him faster. What? What, what do you, what do you, what do you, why? <laughs> like, I get it. You know, last time, last moment, possibly, who knows? Heat of the moment. But literally, you, 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 that, that's how you get the heart a pumping. The original deactivator functions remotely. And the lock's coded for the precise electrical charge that I have to match. Failure rate's gotta be zero or Hank dies. <sighs> Thanks for the reminder. <sighs> what the fuck is happening to Corey, man? Is Dawn gonna do it herself? I love her suit, man. Boys, I got the catamaran island. They're just waiting on their captain. Thank you, Garfield. Let the boys know we'll take her out tonight. You think this place has a big enough chandelier? Hey, when bats have sex, we gotta have something to hang from. So what? This is karma? I don't know. But I'm not ready to go. It's not my time. <sighs> I got too much left to do, and so do you. Get the hell out of here. Counting on you bozos to get me out of this mess. An evening sail. I'm gonna hold you to that. So you have the main sail set. I don't see this episode having a having a happy ending. How close? It's under six percent failure right now. All right, call me as soon as he gets it. Damn, man, they are not. They're running out of time. Hey, you're doing your best by me. I always have. I'm on my way to see Jason. Maybe what happened to him is on us. But you cannot let him tear this family apart. We worked too goddamn hard to build it. I'll be damned if I'm the reason the Titans go down. The Titans aren't going down. And I'll bite them. Extra large Hawaiian, add jalapeno. You're killing me. You know me. Hot going in, hot going out. Mm. Hey. <sighs> Where's the deactivator? In front of you. What the hell is this? I 
Got the deactivator as promised. It engages as soon as my thumb releases the trigger. All you have to do is kill me. What happened to you? Same thing that happens to everybody. We all get there eventually. <sighs> oh, Hank's gonna blow soon. What the fuck happened to Jason, man? Don't. Don't. Who invited that guy? Don, stop. We can save Hank another way. He's lying, Don. Guard, talk to me. He's almost got it. Don, we're almost there. You have less than a minute. If you do this, he wins. He won't save Hank. He's lying. Hey, Bat Boy. She's a grown ass woman. Let her make her own decision. Come on. Oh, go, 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 go. Connor's got it. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Wait, what happened? Looks like I gave you the detonator. How do you get away? What happened? What happened? Dawn just killed Hank. There's something at the end. That's a preview for the next episode. Hmm. So I think I might be on the right track based on that trailer for like <laughs> who's pulling the strings here. If I'm wrong, I mean, it feels obvious, but like if I'm wrong, then touche. Um, well... I'll go ahead and say, I think that was like one of the best episodes of the show in general. I still do not understand Jason at all. I don't understand like why he's doing what he's doing. Like they were trying to give excuses, but it just seems so inconsistent with his character in this show and in the comics. But this episode was really effective at telling the story that they're telling. So regardless of the last two episodes, if you take this episode by itself, it was a really, really tense episode. The Hank moments, the Dawn moments, uh, Dick. This is the most Dick Grayson has actually felt like Dick Grayson in this entire show up until this point. And like, while I don't understand or agree with Jason's motivations he is playing them so well like I think like the that side of him so far in this episode and the last like the mastermind part of him or at least he seems to be the one pulling the strings like in these moments he's like the, this is definitely a personal vendetta that he's got right now and I know he's being helped by a third party who I'm pretty confident is uh, Jonathan Crane but like the way he's manipulating them knowingly, like he knows how they operate and how they think, even though I don't feel like he should have been able to pay attention long enough to really understand any of them this well based on what we've known and seen. But again, taking this episode as its own thing, like he, he played 
them to a T, like especially doing the things that would hurt them the most. Like, th like had Dawn not pulled that trigger, they would have saved Hank. If she had listened to Dick in the beginning and just had faith and stood by their ground, stood their ground against Jason and his game, they would have saved Hank. But Jason knew that, and he knew that Dawn would do what she did no matter what. And he put the detonator in her hand and made her kill him. And that is fucked up. And I, I just don't, I, you can't redeem Jason after that. Like, I don't, I don't think you can. I like it. Like, Red Hood is like an anti-hero. Like, he does have that characteristic. He's not like a full-on villain. He doesn't kill the innocent in the comics, at least generally speaking in most iterations so like it's like this is definitely its own thing like they are making him a bad guy they are like they've turned this on its head they're doing like i said like we said before everything of this has just been their own thing and i while i haven't liked most of it i don't think a lot of it's been pretty well executed and i do think they really really rushed this red hood storyline because they're trying to piece it together like how he got out of the morgue, how he got resurrected, who resurrected him and all this stuff. But anyway, we got to this point and we're at this point and what they're doing is pretty effective, at least in this episode. I thought seeing everybody's interactions, seeing Connor and Gar do everything that they can, both supporting Hank and supporting their family, like that whole dynamic, I thought that was really strong. But again, it's one of those things where like the lead up to it to some of these moments, it's still a little messy and sloppy. So I'm waiting again. I'm going to be waiting to see how it goes. I, I think we'll stick on. I think we'll stick through. I might. Um, I think this episode at least has me intrigued enough to really want to follow it through and see where it goes. And if it loses me down the line, it'll lose me down the line. But right now I'm on board for the premise for the time being. And I like what they're doing. I like the team, man. Like I said before, I like the team dynamic that they're formulating this family dynamic that we've been, that's been absent in the show so far. And it's really carrying it through. Like it feels like they're actually trying to be heroes at this point, And that's what I was hoping for out of the series from the get go. Um, and fuck Jason. He just seems, he just like is continuing. Like I thought in season two that he's just this little bitchy brat. And like I, even when he, t he just seems like he's just being a little, a little bitch. Like that's all it is. Like I'm, I don't feel like he's badass. I don't feel like he's really earning any of these kills. I don't even think he's justified in his hate. And then again, maybe we're not supposed to be. Maybe there's something we don't know that's going on. Maybe he's being puppeted. Maybe he's being influenced by something else. He keeps talking about fear. Maybe whatever he thinks is happening, maybe that has accentuated his perception of the titans in some negative way and this is just scarecrow's way of getting back at bruce is by dismantling his legacy and these his family and tearing them turning them on each other um in this way so maybe some in some way that mixture because a lot of J jason's problems was dealing with his fear from that confrontation he had with deathstroke so maybe he sought out Jonathan Crane for some way to make a chemical that will inhibit his ability to fear fear, but it's pushed him in this different direction, maybe unconsciously, subconsciously, and unknowingly to feeling and thinking the way he's thinking. Probably the death doesn't help with it, too, if he actually did die uh, with the Joker. So, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. I've got, again, still lots of questions. It's the first three episodes. I don't expect a lot of answers. I just, right now, the threads are just all over the place as far as, like, trying to get from point A to point B with some of these plots. Like, it's like we're just trying to really just jumping from thing to thing without really seeing the progression in between. And maybe that's with a purpose. We'll see. Um, again... I'm like, I, but I, I will admit, I, I'm liking what they're doing. Overall, much better than what we've got so far in the show. In these first three episodes, I've been, and like I said before, a lot of that is just the team dynamic and the relationship within the Titans themselves. 
And I just feel like the general acting is better. The dialogue is a little bit stronger. I feel like the relationships are being written a little bit better. Again, Hank and Dawn and their whole like separation, I still feel like it was a little too forced. And I think they're trying to stay somewhat consistent with that, but like pull back in from it. But too late now, Hank just blew up. Um, So I don't know. Lots of emotions after this episode, though. Lots of emotions, man. I really, really like Tank. So, that sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Connor, Gar, and Dick are... And even Corey right now are really kind of slain in this uh, role. Dove, Dove started off as my as one, uh, like one of my favorite characters. And, like, she slowly kind of, like, the, the their whole, like, spat between her and Hank. And, like, this flip of the coin that's happened with her over season two has kind of put her a little lower on the totem pole than she started off with. But we'll see where it goes from here. I just don't see how you bring Jason back from this. I don't think you, I don't know that you can, but we'll see. Guys, what did you think of this episode? This shocking revelation, this shocking uh, cliffhanger that we left off in on these first three episodes that they released? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Huge shout out to our channel legends, Mandy Share, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, and Philly Vane. Remember the full length unedited reaction watch alongs on Patreon, or if you become a member here on the channel, it'll get you access to that as well. But guys, yeah, let's carry on that conversation. You can join me in my Discord or follow me on my socials. Links to all those are in the description of this video. And I think even if the show eventually loses me, I might at least continue it for the Patreon or whatever as far as the watch alongs go. Because maybe we'll see. Or I, I will just we'll just have to wait and see wh how I feel after the next couple of episodes, where I see the story thread going in the long run. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I will catch you guys, I guess, next week with the next episode of Titans. Take care, everybody.